watching New Spide in HD. And now, here he is, Jagger Heathman, to report the news. Oops. Good evening, folks, and uh, I'm here to talk about Prohibition and uh, how it started. Did and uh, Prohibition and about Prohibition. Uh, well, Prohibition was most about involvement of gangsters and about preventing drink alcohol. And uh, we'll have to see why that happened. Then we'll ask, and we're going to ask some viewers what they have to say. And here's what they had to say. All right, now uh, the prohibition, how it begun was uh, well, prohibition started in 1920 and it came from the government. Drunkness was a problem in America, and the U.S. was for prohibition when it went on. And the 18th Amendment was approved in 1919. The bill of it was worked. Christians were against prohibition because they didn't care. And speakeasies were secret bars and secret places, and you needed a password to get in. Why people went there because they wanted to drink alcohol secretly. And if you told someone else about the speakeasy in front of a police officer, they would take you to jail and they would shut it down. The boot collectors snuck liquor into speakeasies, and Al Capone was a gangster who organized crime and he had brought alcohol to the speakeasies. Now, Prohibition ended in 1933 because Americans strongly supported the national prohibition and most expected it to improve health and safety, re reduce crime, and improve the economy and raise public mortality. Back to you, Dan. Alright, and uh, we had a great broadcast, and we'll see you next time on the news, and goodbye, folks. And have a good evening. Good evening. And this is Jared Reefman signing off and have a good evening.